Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you on my Scotland road trip. We did the NC500 route and it was amazing. So I vlogged the whole thing and I just want to take you along with what we did and hopefully give people ideas for what to do if they're going to do the road trip. We started off in Edinburgh and I didn't vlog too much on this day just because we were having so much fun and it's the first time we've been away since lockdown so we were just kind of like soaking up everything and really enjoying ourselves. We did go out for some amazing food, we started off going to Child Prior at night time and then the next day we went to an amazing pizza spot called Chiverino's which I would recommend to anyone. It was probably the best meal of the entire trip um, so you need to go there if you're in Edinburgh. But yeah that was the first day, I really didn't vlog too much so I'm sorry about the lack of clips. Then we went on to In the Nest the second day to start our road trip. Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today we are setting off from Inverness and we're doing the first day of our road trip around like the north coast of Scotland. Today we're starting off in Inverness and then we're going to go up to Dunnock today. We've got like six days to do this trip, we're just going to go at our own pace and just stop over wherever we find it interesting. We've got some like big glamping, we've got two nights glamping which we've booked which is on Tuesday. Um, so yeah it should be fun but I have the first two nights we went and stayed in hotels and then now we're going on to camping so a bit of a change. Just gonna take you along with me today and you can see what we get up to. So this is where me and Connor went for tea last night. I just wanted to show you this because we didn't really vlog any of it to be honest. But it's this little cute restaurant called Tiger on the Wall. Yeah, we just sat out here and like it's like a nice little Indian and like it overlooks this river. And it was lovely. So we've arrived at Inverness Castle. Inverness is such a weird town, guys, honestly, like it's just so strange. It's like a city, but it's smaller than probably the town that I live. It's a viewpoint. Okay. Oh. I'm the fucking king. <laughs> I'm blocking that. We made it to our first stop of the day. Fires Falls. Lovely. Got down about 50,000 steps, so I think we're going to walk down the rest so we can get to the other viewpoint. We weren't even planning on coming here, but there's so many nice places to see, so we just thought we'd do a quick break. I'm really not looking forward to walking back up them steps. <laughs> It'll take hours. <laughs> I'm just jealous that I've not got that. Back in the car now, we're on the road. Um, next stop, we're gonna go to Loch Ness and go and see the Loch Ness Monster, maybe. Um, but yeah, so see you when we're there. So, me and Connor have now moved to a campsite because Connor was too scared to park on the beach. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Basically didn't know whether we could camp on the beach or not. So Connor was like, had a face on him and I said, let's just find a campsite so that you can just chill out because he's just a bit of a Norman like that, aren't you babe? Yeah, he's now just cooking me up some noodles, barbecue beef super noodles. And um, I'll show you his in the tent. Nice and cosy. Kind of that sleeping bag is horrific. So yeah, we're at Dunnock Beach campsite. So we're like near the beach, but you can't actually see anything. So it's not as nice of a view, but never mind. We're just gonna chill and have some tea. <laughs> kind of what is that? <laughs> that looks like a nice tea can. 
tonight's dinner. Oh my god, that looks horrific, but it tastes nice. Just off for a bod to the beach. Ow! 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 I probably went over my ankle and kind of cut the cameras. two of our road trip day well it's day four of our trip day two of our road trip so woke up in the tent this morning absolutely freezing last night and i'm pretty sure i needed a wee for about five hours but i ended up just awake all night too lazy to get up so plan for today is to go to this place called Coco Mountain. I feel like everyone on the NC500 website goes there um, and it's like really nice hot chocolate. So we're gonna go get up, get a hot chocolate and see what that's all about. And then we're gonna go to Dunrobin Castle, which is about half an hour away from uh, Dunock where we are now. And we're gonna have a look at that. That looks so pretty from pictures. It literally looks like a fairy tale castle. So I'm gonna go up there. Then tonight, I think we're gonna camp again right at the very, very top. It's like the most northerly town in the UK, I think, um, called John O'Groat. So we're gonna stop there tonight. <laughs> see where to go next. This is Abby. Yeah, just come for a little wander in a village called Helmsdale and then we're gonna go for some fish and chips, I think, and eat it on the little pier. Cute little town, this. And this is why I don't like vlogging in front of Connor because he just laughs at me. So now we've got us go over his little fall. We're at the castle of Sinclair. So I've just stood by like all these stacks which are on the side of the castle. Connor, I don't know where everyone's gone. He's like right down there. He's absolutely loving this castle. The first one that we went to was like more like French architecture, like whereas this is like medieval. Um, it looks like we're in Winterfell, Game of Thrones, if anyone watches Game of Thrones. Where is he? Let's zoom in on him. Where are you? So yeah, Castle Sinclair. Very interesting. Love. We've stopped off so much today. We've stopped off like four times. Just had like a proper nice day. Just stopping off on all the different little beach coastal towns. So if you look right over there, and if you kept swimming, you get to like Sweden. Hi guys. So we have completely failed for the second time this holiday, and here is our hotel for the night. Right, so. Anyone that is doing this trip or wanting to do this trip, beware that on the websites for like NC500 route, it says that you can wild camp places. And you can't really, like I don't know, like if you are really adventurous and you just don't really care about the rules, but everywhere that you, you go to, that says on the website you can wild camp, it says no camping. And we were just scared, we were like, we don't want to get told off. We don't want it to be 10 o'clock. I've had a few drinks or whatever and, 
we're just by the tent and then we get told to move that would just be a nightmare so I really want to do that so we ended up at John O'Groats which is where like everyone gets pitched by that sign it's like the highest point um at the north lake of Scotland highest point in the UK and we have we had nowhere to stay so we ended up booking at this hotel last minute and it's very nice and I'm very happy that I'm not sleeping in a sleeping bag again because mine broke last night and I was freezing. Yeah, that is the update. We're in a place called Dunnet and it's a really cute little hotel. Little Highland themed hotel. So yeah, I think we're going to go for a little walk to the beach now and um, just see what's about here. So the following morning we actually headed back to John O'Groats just to get a little picture at the sign because we forgot and we also visited Duncaspie Stacks but um, it was beautiful there but I just couldn't really vlog much with the sound because it was so windy uh, and then after that we just set off down to our glamping lodge in Thurso. So, sorry I've not really vlogged today, but we've kind of just been making our way to our lodge and we're in it now. Yeah, tonight we're staying at this place called Brayside Retreat and I'm going to show you the outside. It's amazing. It's a little glamping lodge. It's called The Hive and everything's like bee related inside. It's so cute. And then this is like all of the other ones. It's like on a little hill. It like overlooks all these fields. Oh, you can actually see the coast down there as well. That's cute. Um, and I'll show you around here as well. We've got like a little outdoor seating area so we can have some tea and then there's a little barbecue there. So I think we're going to do barbecue tomorrow night. We're going to order some food tonight. And then this is our little hot tub. So we'll be getting that going later. Our little lodge. Little living area. Sofa. Little bed. It's all like wooden inside. Bathroom. And our little kitchen. Just been to Tesco's and bought some food for the stay. You popping it? Pop it! Woo! Got our Indian takeaway, chicken tikka korma, chicken tikka starter, gel frizzy, naan, onion bhajis, garlic naan, poppadoms, and pickles. Very happy girl. Well, actually, it's not morning, it's like afternoon now. We've had a dead lazy morning, we've literally not even done anything. Um, we've just been like chilling in the room because we've had such a full on few days. We just wanted a morning where we just chilled out. Um, but we're up and ready to go now, and we're going to head towards Tongue um, and Betty Hill, and we're just going to see what's around there. <laughs> So me and Connor have decided that we're going to cook for tea tonight. Sorry if you can hear the telly in the background. So I'm cooking a, like a creamy bacon type pasta bake. So I just popped to Tesco, it's got pasta, chilies, pancetta, onions, garlic, parmesan, nice little bottle of rosé and then a pizza as well. Get on and cook this. This looks, this tastes nicer than it looks but basically cheesy bacon parmesan pasta and a pizza watch and take me out with a lovely view saying bye to our lovely house bye 
we're setting off onto the west coast today. We had like two days here, which meant that we had to like pause our trip for a couple of days, like on the top. So we've not got as long to do the west coast. So we're gonna set off early and try and do as much as we can today. So. just arrived at Dinesse and that was such a long drive like it literally felt like forever um there wasn't really much in between Thurso and Dinesse it was just road it was the most beautiful drive ever though but I'm so glad to just be stopping off now for a, a little bit of food so we've just come to this Dinesse food spot and honestly I can't even cope with how excited I am for a burger in my life and I'm gonna get a cheeseburger and chips and I'm so and then also we're going to go to Smoo Caves after this um, and do a little bit of a cave walk and then we're going to go and have a beach day at Achmovich Beach afterwards I think and yeah and then we're staying in Ullapool tonight which should be fun um, I've heard it's quite good for like pubs and food and things like that so yeah that should be good and now I'm vlogging in public because people can see me and I'm getting cringed Ullapool tonight we are we're staying in this like little B&B um we've kind of given up on the camping but it is just so 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 windy like a lot of the campsites that we're ringing up are warning us like they don't even want us it's a bit strange to like just letting you know like the wind is so bad so i think we're just better like staying in airbnbs hotels bed and breakfast things like that just because it's warm and after a day full of walking it you just you need that sometimes so that's the plan and uh, i'm not going to talk into this beautiful burger Reminds me of um, Valhalla in Blackpool, Pleasure <laughs> Beach, doesn't it? Maybe that's what the. Oh my god, that's a cool shot. Sparkly with money. To our apartment, well, bed and breakfast in Ullapool. We didn't book anywhere to go for tea, so we ended up with Zati. May as well be back camping. Now, we've actually booked somewhere, but it's not till half nine, so we're absolutely starving. So we went to Tesco, got some pot noodles, and we're gonna watch the fall because we're obsessed. Can't start watching it. Um, and then go out for tea in like a few hours. But how pretty is this view? outside our room. We're gonna watch the fall here. Yeah, good idea. I'm gonna get ready to go out for tea in like an hour and have a nice meal. It's nearly our last night. We've only got one more night after this. We're just out for lunch at this lovely bar called the Balavulin. I'm having pizza. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. Hi guys, so I have now checked into our hotel in Glasgow and I'm just getting ready in the hotel room really. I'm gonna go for some tea and just have like a nice chilled night for our final night and we've booked this amazing place called Sugo which do really nice pasta. I've heard like nice stuff about it in Glasgow so we're gonna try that. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here guys because technically this isn't part of the NC500 route, it's just like a night to break up the journey back home to the Lake District. So we may as well just end it here. I hope you enjoyed, I hope that it was insightful to anyone that wants to do the road trip or like is planning to do it maybe next year. It is such a good road trip, I would recommend it to absolutely anyone. I'm extremely sorry if you can hear the Arctic Monkeys in the background because Connor's listening to them in the shower. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!